Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys, oh, I'm probably going to be streaming I can only hope she's able a little to later escape. tomorrow. Because I have to go to my mom's for a little bit. Either earlier or later. I haven't decided yet. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your mooncalf, Garneth. How kind. If only all of Wizard Kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely to me, you won't get me, banned unless you I say it's to something reward rude. you for your efforts. <laughs> Beaumont should have. Excuse me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I love this music. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns... What's up? Then we shall decide what to do next. He's what gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. Is this before, after the Burks books, or an alternate universe? It's before. So this takes place a hundred years before Harry Potter. Um, it's like 1890s. Um, 
feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, so yeah, it's it's like the the 1890s, I want to say, and um, so like there's people who are in here who um, are like have the same last names or something. Um, like there's Professor Weasley and I haven't met anybody with Potter. You but, said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Uh, Where precisely? To the like south? The gaunts, across the river. Who Last I we heard, heard earlier, ominous gaunt. Um, they're go related to them. Salazar Slytherin and Voldemort. Um, how did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? It's not a spoiler. <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day handpicking herbs and roots. If you've seen the movies, you would know when that. When a group of Ranrox <laughs> lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against the rock and robbed him. How did I ruin the ending? <laughs> That's literally not a spoiler. <laughs> I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be I'm rid the of queen them, of accidental I spoilers, to risk injury, so always. <laughs> Please be cautious. Poachers! Gone if was right then. I had better be careful. Cooper! Ready to s not your best defensive maneuver was it? Careful not Let's to bring get up. Potato. Incendio. Glad to make. Potato. Thank you. Incendio. Oh, it's actually quite beautiful. Incendio. I can feel a burning. Good bring up. I could do this. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna... That was so stupid. <laughs> that... Protect her. You don't. Are you even trying? Jesus. <laughs> the flame <laughs> I won't go down as easy. Oh, my bite is my bark. <laughs> I just sent him flying. <laughs> They really name it Wolf Animagus. Like, can't bring that. Oh, it don't hurt you. Incendio. Make that stop. You haven't got a prayer. Can bring them. Make that stop. Okay, that one hurt. And I. 
Wolf Animagus, like animal plus magic. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's kind of how J.K. Rowling came up with it. But Animagus is in the books. It it means when people can turn into animals. It's a charm. Um, well, the spell for repair is Reparo. So yeah. Yeah, like there's oh. Animagus. Which in, one of you is Biscuit? Um. Ah, uh, what? Am I supposed to like col Oh no, you don't. Biscuit, let's get you back to Gonoff, shall we? Gone. I forgot what they're called. I've rescued Biscuit. You have. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? AJ, since you're here, you need to weigh in on the topic of the day <laughs> in my um title. <laughs> Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. <laughs> Thomas. It's okay to forget names of things. <laughs> I'm glad she's safe now. What? I'm sure AJ. she'll be happy to go home. Come on. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. <laughs> 